Dear all, last Thursday I became Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Public Enterprises and Public Services of the new Belgian government. It's a real honour to serve as a minister in this federal government, which will pursue a very progressive policy on gender equality and women's rights. For the first time ever, the Belgian government also has the same amount of men and women amongst its members. Unfortunately, however, this new mandate implies that I cannot be chair of EPF anymore. However, in the midst of this very hectic period, I want to make time to shortly address you. It has been difficult times for SRHR defenders the past years. The ultra-conservative forces in the US and in Europe have been extremely well organized in their campaigns to roll back human rights for sexual and reproductive health. The past months it has become clear that COVID-19 has had some knock-on effects on SRHR. There are increased risks for domestic violence and many SRH services including vaccination programs were no longer available to women and some governments have been misusing the crisis situation to undermine women's rights. This shows us that SRHR again have to be defended with vigor. But on the other hand, we also must remain optimistic as there are have as sorry, there have been many situations which show that progress can be made. EPF its members MPs and APPG secretaries have played a key role in mobilizing the highlight problems and fight for solutions. It has been a real honor to be your president for the past years and I want to support you to continue this fight and make clear to everyone that we refuse a lockdown for sexual and reproductive rights. I will strive for this within the federal government as well. This is certainly no goodbye. I hope to see many of you very soon. Thank you.